Okay, so for the first part of the series of tutorials on design, let's talk about the elements of design. So what are the elements of the design? So we have line, color, these are the basics, okay, the basic um, elements of design. Line, color, texture, size, space, shape, and we also have um, forms, okay? Okay, the first element of design is line. So what is line? Often the starting point for all artistic expression, the line is one of the most essential element of design. It always has more length than thickness and can be unbroken, broken or implied. A line can be vertical, diagonal, horizontal and even curved. It can be any width, size, shape, position, directional, interval, or density. Now, points create lines and lines create shapes. A line can have other elements like color, texture, and movement applied to it. Though basic in appearance, lines can control the viewer's thoughts and emotions and lead a viewer's eye through space. Next is shape. What is shape? Now, all objects are composed of shapes, and all elements of design are shapes in some way. So shapes can live in a form. An example would be a button on a website. It's a shape that's, you know, living inside the computer, which is the form. A shape is a two- or three-dimensional object that stands out from the space next to it because of the defined or implied boundary. A shape can live in different areas in space and have other elements like line, color, texture, and movement like forms shapes come in two different types we have uh, geometric and organic number three we have form now what is a form a form is very important everything possesses a form in one way or another when we talk about form we're not talking about the content of the form but the form itself so forms are also three-dimensional there are two types of form we have geometric which is man-made and there's also natural which is organic and forms can um, it can be created by combining shapes and it can be enhanced by color Okay, next is texture. So what is texture? In the visual arts, texture is the perceived surface quality of a work of art. So texture is the way a surface feels or the way it perceives to feel. It has the power to attract or detract a viewer's eyes and can be applied to lines, shapes, and forms. So there are two types of texture. There is tactile and three-dimensional. So use of texture along with other elements of design can convey a variety of messages and emotions. In general sense, the word texture refers to um, surface characteristics and appearance of an object given by size, shape, density, arrangement, proportion of its elementary parts. You know, in digital design, there are currently no touch screens that emulate tactile textures yet. So we stick to visual texture. Number five, it's color. I love color. Color is an element consisting of hues, of which there are three properties. The first one is hue, second one is chroma or intensity, and the third one is value. So color, uh, um, it is present when light strikes an object and it is um, reflected into the eye, a reaction to a hue arising in the optic nerve. It has the strongest effect on our emotions, an element to create mood. So it is important to note that white color is global. In different cultures, they have different connotations for colors. So for example, in some cultures, white is associated with purity. In others, it's associated with death. Number six, we have space. So what is space? Space is an element that refers to area within, around, above, or below an object or objects. Objects in space can occur in both two and three dimensions. Um, it also invokes um, imagination. It creates visual hierarchy to the elements when gaps are created. And then adding emphasis to the design, separation and grouping of elements can be clearly seen whenever there is say, the proper spacing. And more spaces make the experience of the user more lightweight, easy and comfortable to explore. 
And we have size, or we also call it scale. So what is size or scale? Size is simply the relationship between the area occupied by one shape to that of the area occupied by another. To have a large size shape requires the existence of a smaller size shape. Size differences create interesting dynamics within a design. So equally sized shapes create confusion the eye jumps from one to the other, not knowing where to rest. So um, size or scale can also add interest and emphasis of your objects, shapes, type, and other elements. As you can see here in this illustration, these are different sizes. So guys, those are the basic um, elements of design. Now let's move on to our workboard in Figma and let's apply what we have just learned regarding the elements of design. Okay, welcome to Figma. So let us apply what we have just learned. So the first one is line. Let's look for lines. So obviously this one is a line. These one, these are line that eventually it became a form or a shape. Okay. And then even letters, these are lines, 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 lines. Okay. Next we have shape. All right. Shape. We have this one square. Okay. We have rectangle. We have circle. This one is rectangle and I changed the uh, co um, corner radius. So that becomes I don't know how you call this really, but uh, that is used to create buttons. Okay, you have circle here and etc. Next is a form. So uh, form is very similar to the element of you know design shape. So, but the difference is that the term is form is used in an artwork that has three dimensions instead of two as shapes. The three dimensions are length, width, and depth. So as you can see here, this is 3D. So that is the difference between form and shape. Then it becomes like a cube, right? This one, because of the, uh, the depth and the width, it becomes, this one like, becomes different. This one like cylinder, it becomes really like a capsule, okay? So what's next? Next is texture. So for now, we don't have digital texture. And then we have color. So we have this one is dark, violet. This one is pink, blue, black, green, white, and yellow green. Okay. And we have the, the Figma logo here. And next is space. So as you can see, there is the proper spacing here. So there's space between the button and your text element. So we have to learn later as we go through with this course, this tutorial, um, we will be learning in applying the proper uh, spacing between our elements, between different elements. Okay, so could you imagine if um, there's no proper spacing? This is really a mess and it looks horrible. But when you apply the proper, you know, spacing, then it looks so uh, visually appealing. So that's it. I hope you have learned something and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to support this tutorial and uh, give me a thumbs up or leave your comments below. So I'll see you next time for the next tutorial on designing. Have a nice day, guys. See you. Ciao.